Similar to Furiosa, I didn't intend on reviewing Godzilla Minus One, but circumstances allowed for the opportunity, seeing as I didn't have a video ready for this week. I'm behind on work, and uh, Minus One popped up on Netflix, so what a better time to check out what everyone was talking about. Godzilla Minus One is a remake of the original Gojira, opening at the tail end of World War II. Koichi Shikishima is a kamikaze pilot who feigned technical difficulties with his plane and lands on Odo Island. After the lead technician, Takibana, levels with Koichi about refusing to die when the war is about to end, Godzilla raises the camp that night, leaving Koichi and Takibana as the only survivors, as Koichi froze when the opportunity to potentially kill Godzilla arose. Furious with Koichi, both he and Takibana return to Japan where the bombs already fell. Koichi meets Noriko, who took in a baby girl, and all three become a family as all of their parents got Disneyed. Several years later, after the Bikini Atoll tests, Godzilla returns and attacks Japan. But, since Japan is still rebuilding and tensions between the United States and Russia are high, no one, including the Japanese government, is going to help. So it is up to Koichi, his friends, and other former military to band together and stop Godzilla before he reaches Tokyo. The strongest element of Minus One is the characters. Set immediately before the find-out phase of fucking around, the resulting drama on the ground is palpable. Koichi, Noriko, and Akiko are a family born of circumstance, making the best of their situation, and you can't help but want Koichi to accept the past already and seal the deal with Noriko. Koichi isn't some whiny bitch who had nine years to get over himself like Richter in Castlevania Nocturne. No, Koichi completes his arc as both a dishonored warrior and guilty survivor, resenting his own lack of action until his determination blossoms to take out Godzilla. Noriko is sadly one of the best mothers we've gotten recently, at least here in the West. And no shade at Noriko, she's great! She just picks up Akiko and takes care of her as Akiko's parents' dying request, which is much more than 90% of people today would have done. She's also patient for her soldier at home waiting for him to finish his battle, and after he opens up about things, becomes understanding of what he's going through, but never wavers in her support of Koichi. The rest of the characters all work well, and you understand their perspectives no matter how brief. Takibana hates Koichi because he could have potentially killed Godzilla, or at least driven the beast off and saved the lives of all the technicians that die. But when summoned, he helps out because of his shared view, which is common in many Japanese stories, to protect the youth and give them a better future. That's wisdom that many people today should better understand. Or take when Kenji and Yoji deny Sosaku joining the mission to go after Godzilla. It's because they want him to live on, should they fail. Even Koichi's self-flagellation is hard to argue against, since he's overcome with survivor's guilt and he believes he failed everyone. I understand his reasoning, it's difficult to let go of the past. Many people today struggle with this because of the shame we feel for the stupid things we've done, or what has been done to us that drives many of us to feel that we deserve the despair that many of us have given into. Now, you can't talk about a Godzilla movie without discussing the king himself. Godzilla's never been invincible and has died multiple times in the franchise, but he's always been the poster boy for top laning. So seeing Godzilla receive this much damage is an interesting rebalance. His armor rating was dropped significantly to buff his passive regeneration, which is nuts now. The healing factor isn't perfect either, as scars form immediately, making him appear more vicious after every battle. Godzilla is also packing one of the most devastating and unique atomic breaths of the franchise. 70 years and Godzilla is still being made in unique ways. Now, of course, the King of the Monsters was brought to life using CGI, and man, if Japan didn't just show us up. With a mere $15 million production budget, Minus One won the Academy Award for Best Special Effects. Compare this to the prior three winners being Dune, Tenet, and Avatar The Way of Water. The lowest budget being Dune at $165 million is literally 11 times greater than Godzilla Minus One's budget. So you really have to wonder if the money is being put to good use, or it's a laundering scheme. There are reasons
reasons for the difference in work ethic as well, such as their upbringings, disciplinary training from young ages, and uh, their different labor laws. Also, the budget is low because Toho is notorious for pinching pennies, like trying to use an expired coupon at a lemonade stand. With the exception of how rubbery Godzilla looks on Odo Island and the occasional quick motions, like again, the attack on Odo Island, or when he jerks himself when he fires his atomic breath, the rest of the CGI on display is amazing. In particular, Godzilla chasing the boat looks so real, Godzilla looks like a life-sized puppet. Besides a couple of niggles in the CGI and Noriko surviving, I, I can't think of anything else worth complaining about that actually matters. And I'm not gonna hate on anyone who enjoys Godzilla X Kong either. GXK is crap in comparison, sure, but where minus one is a gourmet meal, Godzilla X Kong is a double with cheese. And there's... Nothing wrong with that. What a time to be a Godzilla fan, and Minus One should serve as an inspiration for what the MonsterVerse can achieve in raw quality. Good characters, good writing, tense scenes, camaraderie, and CGI that earned Godzilla his first Oscar? Well, no wonder Godzilla Minus One dominated here in the States. It's great, and I propose at least as good, if not arguably better, than the original Gojira. Now, if only we can get a halfway decent game again soon. Anyway, thanks for watching, and hail to the king.